All right, hi everyone. This is uh, Brad from Board Game Geek. We are here doing some streaming at a new location. Um, we used to stream on Twitch um, and we stopped doing that a little while ago. Um, now we're gonna try streaming here on Mob Crush for a little bit. Um, but again, our main focus actually is going to be uh, YouTube. So we'll just be streaming here and then editing the videos and throwing them up on YouTube. But if you wanna watch live, be sure to uh, join us here for that. Um, so we will be here streaming live and it's still saying I'm offline, but, um, yeah, so be sure to check that out. Uh, we are definitely excited to be here on Mob Crush. It is a pretty cool place, very mobile focused. And again, we focus a lot on mobile board games. So it's a lot what we're looking at here. Uh, cool. So today what we are aiming to do is to take a look at some new grand tournament cards. Woohoo! With this silly looking gentleman with the broken lance. Uh, we will definitely be checking those out and uh, be opening 50 packs. So we'll have to see if we can get some legendaries. Had some friends at work opening them today and they were uh, not successful in getting legendaries. So we'll see if we do any better than they did. Uh, Definitely uh, something worth checking out. So if you're a Hearthstone fan, be sure to join in. We are gonna check out uh, some of these new packs. All right. So we have 50 packs here to open, as well as some additional uh, packs that I can buy with gold, potentially, if I'm feeling in the mood. If enough people tune in, we will definitely do that. But yeah, let's uh, get started here. Throw some packs out there. Ooh, cool animation. Flower petals. All right, the North Sea Kraken deals four damage. I've seen that in the the recent. Uh, I'm sorry, the recent tavern brawl that happened last week. That was pretty cool. All right, and then the Pit Fighter. Ooh, we got a rare here, Master Jouster. So this has the uh, Joust ability. Uh, so it says uh, Battle Cry: Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, gain Taunt and Divine Shield. It's definitely using that. Joust ability, and then we have Burlock Knight, which has the Inspire ability, which is the new ability in this expansion. Uh, Inspire says summon a random Murloc, so that's pretty interesting if you want to do Paladin Murloc, which I didn't think was a thing, but supposedly these guys do think is a thing this time around since they designed it that way, so we'll see how that goes. Cool. All right, so no legendaries yet. That's a legendary count of zero so far. Buccaneer, rogue, rogue common. Uh, whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attack. It's pretty interesting. Grimar Aspirant, give your weapon plus one attack. All right, ooh, there's a rare in the same spot. I don't know if that was on purpose, but definitely was still there. Um, let's see, and this one says, Spawn of Shadows, deal four damage to each hero. And Inspire, gain spell damage plus one. And whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Pretty sweet. So be sure to check those out. All right, let's check it out. Next one. Man, 50 is a lot of packs. All right, the Dragon Hawk, Hawk Rider. This one was definitely in the uh, Inspire deck. I believe it was a Mage Inspire deck that was used in the Tavern Brawl. And this one gains Wind Fury when it's inspired. Uh, Fist of Jaraxxus. Ooh, a Warlock card. When you play or discard this, deal four damage to random enemies. So it's actually encouraging to discard cards, which is pretty interesting. Uh, a discard effect as well as a play effect. All right, Arcane Blast, deal two damage to a minion. The spell gets double bonus from spell damage. Wow. Darn you, mages. Seal of Champions. That's one funky looking card. Uh, give a minion plus three attack and divine shield. All right. Pretty sweet. Man, we are just cutting through these packs like nobody's business. <laughs> Again, if you're tuning in, uh, we're just checking out some of the Grand Tournament packs. Uh, opening 50 plus packs here. I've got 50 here and I'll probably buy some more with gold. So, ooh, Thunder Bluff Valiant, give your totems plus two attack. So they've definitely tried to buff up totems in this expansion. So if you're a Hearthstone fan, uh, Shaman's been a little bit of a problem i've heard i only play hunter because i'm a terrible person uh but uh they're definitely trying to buff up shaman it looks like 
So Ice Rager, 5-2. Druid of the Saber, transform, gain charge, or plus one, plus one in stealth, which is pretty cool. Uh, another Dragonhawk Rider. And Flame Lance, deal eight damage to a minion. Definitely saw that one in the uh, the uh, game as well, which was uh, the Tavern Brawl. So that one is uh, pretty pricey, but can be useful. Spell Slinger, again, adds a random spell. So this is Lily Squire. Squire. He's kind of the basic Inspire minion. He gets plus one attack when Inspired. So kind of an easy one drop. And maybe if you're, I don't know, Hunter or something like that can rush him. Void Crusher, destroy a random minion for each player. North Sea Kraken, we saw earlier, and Fearsome Doom Guard, which is kind of a vanilla minion. Rare to see those these days. All right, keep going here. What else do we have here? All right, we have the uh, Argent Horse Rider, Charge and Divine Shield. Low stats, but again, interesting abilities. Uh, Effigy, it's a mage. This is when a friendly minion dies, summon a random minion of the same cost. So it's definitely uh, another secret mix in the mix, which is great since it kind of widens those out. <laughs> now this is a hero that a uh, character that I like that uh, did not get voted in, didn't learn about him till the end, but he, uh, I just think the art's really funny. Uh, but he uh, restores four health to each hero, so kind of interesting, uh, probably in a much more of a control deck situation with him. All right, let's see here. Again, we've seen that one earlier. Shady Dealer, another rogue minion. If you have a pirate game, plus one, plus one. So pirate definitely becoming more and more, uh, yeah, definitely becoming more and more uh, valid, I guess. Another rare here, Saboteur. Your opponent's hero power costs five more next turn. So this definitely is a counter to the type of decks that are being added. So Inspire, all that kind of stuff, uh, it's going to be slowed down by this. And then uh, Dollar and a Spear, which is one I haven't actually seen before. Uh, it's an Inspire minion that gains spell damage plus one on Inspire, which is pretty crazy combined with some of these other effects that we've seen. All right, let's see here. Demon Fuse, give a demon plus three, plus three. All right, and give your opponent a mana crystal. Bolster, give your min your taunt minions plus two, plus two. So definitely pushing towards that control style of play. Uh, this is the first Hunter card we've seen, which is a bummer since, like I said, I only play Hunter well and Druid, so we've seen plenty of Druid cards. Uh, but this one reveals a minion in each deck, and if yours is more, then you draw it automatically, which is pretty cool. Uh, Saboteur, which we got, and Dragonhawk Rider. Awesome. All right, well, no legendaries yet. We're a uh, fifth of the way through almost here, and not a legendary in sight. It's really disappointing. When we did this last time for uh, uh, the previous expansion, we actually managed to pick up quite a few legendaries, but haven't seen any this time. Windwalker. Give a friendly beast plus three health. So there is some talk of maybe beast druid being a thing. Oh, and a rare fallen hero. So this is one that we saw in the tavern brawl as well last week. Uh, your hero power deals one extra damage, which is pretty powerful if you can combine it with other cards that are affecting your hero power. Inspire and double use and all that jazz. All right, we'll see a lot of the same commons. Undercity Valiant's a new one. It's combo deal one damage. So Pretty cheap, strong minion. Uh, I mean, two two health is not great, but it definitely is usable. Oh, flame juggler! We got fist of Draxus again. Flame, flame juggler deals one damage to a random enemy, and ice rager. It's pretty strong aggro minion. Five two. Probably doesn't live very often. I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, Argent lance, battle cry. Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, gain one durability. It's a pretty fun uh, new Paladin weapon. Living Roots, choose one, deal two damage, or summon two 1-1 one, one saplings. Woo. And there we go with an epic Master of Ceremonies. If you have a minion with spell damage, gain plus two, plus two. Interesting. Definitely uh, spell-focused decks. <laughs> and Maiden of the Lake, which is really great, reduces the hero power cost. 
All right, still no legendaries. Come on, guys. Fingers crossed. We've got to get a legendary or, you know, like six or seven. That would be great. Evil, Evil Heckler, just a pretty strong taunt minion. Uh, okay, this one, I think the art is amazing on. I wish you could zoom in at this stage, but you can't. Uh, gain an empty mana crystal and lose a mana crystal. So kind of giving you that rush, and then as it leaves, it also takes it away. Twilight Guardian, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and taunt. So definitely focused on dragon decks. And a healing card. One drop healing card for priest. Just what they needed. Just more control. <laughs> Just what we wanted to see. Love it. All right, let's see here. Injured Cladier. And if you are watching uh, and you're from Board Game Geek, you don't have a Mob Crush account, um, I've been using the service for a while. It's pretty cool. So if you want to hop on and join the chat, uh, happy to chat about all this uh, not legendaries that we're opening right now. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I, should, I need to take a, like a fantasy naming class or something. Cladier? Cladier? I don't know, man. If you know, please. Oh, another, another one of those. It's like a theme pack or something. But this guy's pretty cool. It does... Oh, well, that's not very cool, actually. One drop deals damage to himself. But again, like in a priest deck, you just heal him up, and you've now, you know, got quite the threat for pretty cheap. Uh, and you can take advantage of that health that he has if you can heal him. Ooh, another rare there. Ram Wrangler. If you have a beast, summon a random beast. I don't really like that. I like this synergy between beasts, tribes, as people from the magic world call them. Uh, still no legendaries. We are, I don't know, not in luck this time. We didn't do the right w rituals before joining in. Uh, here we go, I got a new one, sparring partner, taunt. Battle cry, give a minion taunt, which is pretty great. Uh, definitely can maybe get rid of some of those uh, patron warriors, which seem to be the talk of the town right now. All right, still no, still no legendaries. Tuscar Totemic. Again, we're talking about this totem stuff. This one summons even more totems. Uh, the Flash Healing again. Uh, Wyrm Rest Agent. If you're holding a dragon, gain place full, plus one attack and taunt. So Dragon Priest. Here in Force. Uh, bear Trap. After your hero's attack, summon a 3-3 bear with taunt. Again, that really has synergies with a beast deck um, and potentially more of a control style hunter. So we'll see if that actually ends up happening just so you know, I'm a total net decker, so I just wait for the internet to tell me what to build, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that is definitely how I roll. I'm not ashamed. Bone Guard Lieutenant, gain plus one health. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, that was actually in the Tavern Brawl as well, kind of the opposite of the Squire. Uh, Master Jouster, we opened our very first pack. All right. Keep going on this thing. Explode. Flame Lance. Captured. Jumungar is a beast and is a 5 9. Just straight up. So, just some power. Power in the beasts. Oh, Shadow Panwart Rider. Gain plus 3 attack. Combo. Combo deck's pretty cool. Expensive card, but definitely, you know, some cheaper spells. Things like that you can. Uh, combine it and then shaman has ancestral knowledge which is just some card draw which i believe they needed pretty sorely did not have a lot of card draw in that class as compared to others uh bear trap all right gonna be dusting a lot of this <laughs> lights champion silence a demon now that is a extremely specific card uh i guess if the meta goes total like demon lock all the time maybe i don't know that's pretty crazy and then another totem focus minion, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it might be time to play Shaman, you guys. Feels like I've gotten most of the Shaman class cards. Brave Archer. If your hand is empty, deal two damage to the enemy hero. So that kind of helps, you know, what I've noticed a lot with Hunter decks. You get pretty slowed down towards the end there. Uh, and it's awesome to have a little bit to help you push that last bit. Dark Bargain, destroy two random enemy, enemy minions, discard two random cards. So that could be negative, but if you, again, combine it with cards that activate when they're discarded too, then you're doing great. 
And the tournament medic restores two health to your hero on Inspire. So definitely, definitely, I think this. I mean, there are some aggro cards in this set, but a lot, a lot more focus, I think, on control. Of course, that's what I said about uh, Blackrock Mountain, and that ended up not being true at all. So maybe just don't listen to me. I don't know. Uh, Clockwork Knight is again adding, getting the mechs in the night game, which is interesting. Cut purse. Whenever this minion attacks the hero, add the coin to your hand. Interesting. So you can definitely give yourself an advantage the next turn. Uh, maybe coin this and then attack and coin again. Yay! And then a jouster here gains strength. All right, we're almost halfway done. We have not seen one legendary. That means there's going to be a bazillion legendaries. I need to open them in a different pattern. Sorry, Polymorph Boar is pretty cool. It's a new Polymorph spell that changes a minion to a boar, which you can use on your own or potentially your enemy. Uh, it was in the Tavern Brawl, and there were situations where it made sense to, you know, uh, Polymorph their minion because you needed to get rid of a taunt or something for that final hit. But yeah, it's really interesting. All right, come on, come on. What what do I need to do? Take the legendary here. What do I need to say? Holy champion, whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. You dirty, dirty priests. A lot of Argent Lances. Totem Golem. So again, that's a totem that can take effect from those totem cards you've seen. Ooh, gold. Savage Combatant. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. With Inspire. So, very interesting Druid card. Uh, really pushing on the Druid as direct attacking, which is pretty cool. The beast form of the Druid, if you will. All right, come on. We're rounding out almost to 25. You gotta see a legendary. Let's see it. Tuscar, Jouster, Paladin, Epic, oh, Frost Giant. We saw this one again. Very key in like an, an Inspire focused deck when you're gonna be using your hero power a lot. Uh, Cause then it ends up being basically free. Well, we've seen quite a few Epics. Quite a few legendary uh, rares, obviously. Excuse me, but definitely want to see those. Lights Champion basically dust that thing. Ice Rager Gold. Woo! All right, it's 26. We're halfway done. 50 packs. I'm also going to spend all my gold, but I don't know, man. No legendaries. I don't know if I can keep going. Sorry, Mogor's champion, again, is an ogre, so he has a 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. Uh, priest, new power word spell. Uh, enchants a minion to give you health every time it attacks. Ooh, this one's pretty fun. And a beast. Mugla's champion. So that's definitely focused on a beast-type deck, potentially in Hunter. I imagine that combining that with, you know, play that one turn, it lives, and then, I don't know, at least the Hounds or something like that. Seal of Champion, we've seen. Master Jouster, we've seen. Druid of the Saber, Druid of the Saber. Wrathguard. You guys, I do not have the luck tonight. Not a single legendary. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Come on. Rare. Colosseum Manager, return this minion to your hand. Evil Heckler. See, now I'm just going in random order. Praying, hoping beyond hope. Yeah, we've seen all those before. But I do like Muckless Champion. I'm already thinking in my brain how to do it. All right, Bash. Oh, there's the rare. Another Master Jouster. Oh boy, you guys. Recruiter, add a 2 2 Squire to your hand. That's definitely interesting. Uh, all right, I'm, does it show you what the cost of that is? No, and taunt, tournament attendee. All right, a hey, mojo across the universe. Come on, legendaries, some sort of legendary, any legendary. No, no legendaries. All right, well, we do have Warhorse Trainer, which gives boost your uh, silver hand recruits again great combined with like something like muster or just your basic hero power 
uh, and the spell damage, 2-6. He's going to stick around. And Sparring Partner, which we saw earlier. And another main of the lake, which is good. I'm assuming we're going to see plenty of decks that have two of her in there. I could be wrong, because again, I'm not always right and often wrong. All right, so Silverhand Regent, summon a 1 1 Silverhand Recruit. Again, can combine some of these things together. Uh, can really start making a pretty cool token deck. Another Master Jouster. Holy cow, you guys. That's like the fifth or sixth Master Jouster. That is insane. But Mysterious Challenger is new. Put one of each secret from your deck onto the battlefield. So that's pretty crazy. All right. So, I mean, we've still got 20 packs. That's a lot of packs. But we have yet to see a single Legendary. McCrow, nice to see you here. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Man, I do not. I don't know. I have no luck. Come on. Come on. So, like some sort of ritual to unlock the Legendaries. When we did Goblins vs. Gnomes, we opened two packs with two legendaries in them. Uh, oh, Colossian Manager we've seen. Totem Golem. And Spawn of Shadows. Not great, but doable, I guess. All right. Void Crusher. Warhorse Trainer. Frigid Snowbold. <laughs> I maybe I should just quit now. I don't know. All right. This is like opening your Christmas presents just to be disappointed. All right. This is probably new. Into the Coliseum. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. Bear trap. Injured Vladir and Bone Guard Lieutenant, which we've seen. Okay. Okay, I feel good about this one. I feel good. Oh. Master Jaster. <laughs> oh, I give up. I, I can't. I can't anymore. I just can't. Oh, okay, well, I don't think there's anything new in that one. Now, if each one of these a legendary in it we'd have more than the full count of legendaries in this set i believe healing wave is one we haven't seen before just restore seven health reveal a minion in each deck if yours costs more restore 14 health instead so we're gonna spell with joust and i think that's it flame jugglers another juggler uh but again not like it's it's brother knife juggler not as good i would say i mean just on face value. Competitive spirit. When your turn starts, give your minions plus one, plus one. It's pretty great. Again, it does rely on you saying, hey, I still have minions on the board, which is not always great. All right. See, I've got friends opening legendaries, and I have not opened one. <laughs> oh, you guys. these We've all seen these. I think I have enough of every common in the game uh, of this set. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we got one, you guys. All right. Confessor Palatress. I think that's actually what my buddy just opened, too. Uh, this is the priest card with the inspire ability of summoning another legendary minion. Well, I don't really play priest, but uh, I might have to start since it is the only legendary I've received. All right. We have a legendary count of one. That's 40 packs in-ish. That's not quite 40. Almost 40. Nearly 40. All right. Come on. You see, now I feel it. It's like gambling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Turner Medic we've seen. Bash we've seen. Oh, probably haven't seen this one. Yeah, this art is pretty cool too. Uh, Sideshow Spell Eater. Copy your opponent's hero power. All right. Competitive Spirit we saw. And Bash. All right. Go 
Come on, come on. Can't they tell how desperate I am? The random number generators can't tell. All right, we actually do have one new guard here that we haven't seen. Lance Carrier, give a friendly minion plus two attack. It's a really good battle cry. Uh, we've seen it with a few others, but that's uh, definitely a one, two. Again, isn't as strong on the attack, but lives. So you can buff it up. It stays around. We have seen all these. All right, we're into the last few. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Again, my luck is terrible. But so far, it seems like there's a nice variety of cards. New strategies are going to be available. So, okay, Alex draws this champion. If you are holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and charge. Interesting. Dragon warrior? Is that a thing now? I don't know. I guess so. I guess it is a thing now. Ardent Lance, Void Crusher, Gold Maiden of the Lake, lots of gold cards, but not legendaries, sadly. All right, come on, Bolster, we've seen Shady Dealer, we saw early on. Confuse is new for us. Uh, swap the attack and health of all minions. It's pretty crazy. And Drainy, Token Card, Drainai, Drainai, Drainai. Sorry, it's been a while since I played WoW, and when I played, yeah, there were no J and I. Wow, we have a lot of Brave Archers. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right, so I think I am going to spend this gold because, come on, we need more legendaries. You guys can't end the stream with one legendary. Tiny Knight of Evil sounds like the most awesome card ever. Whenever you discard a card, gain plus one, plus one. That is... Pretty awesome. So again, advantage to discarding cards. Play a little more aggressively. Life tap. Interesting. New strategies. All right, the final one. We've opened one legendary. Oh, my iPad just knocked off its little stand thing. <laughs> well... Guys, that was 50 packs and one legendary. Uh, from what I can tell, I'm not the first person that that happened to, at least ostensibly. So, uh, all right, let's buy some of these. Buy some of these. Buy some of these. All right. Awesome, buying, buying, buying. Okay. 11 more packs. It'll bring our total to 61 packs. Oh, another Wild Walker, glad to see that. All right, man, we have not, it's crazy. Or Rathgard? Now we've seen all those. All right. Come on. Come on. We can do it. No. This is why I don't gamble, generally. Uh, not because I lose, but because it's not easy to win when gambling. Cut Purse, Silent Knight. It's a new one, I think. Stealth and Divine Shield. That's pretty funny. Whoa, excuse me. Sorry, guys. All right. Come on. Didn't work. So close, yet so far away. <laughs> you guys, I cannot win tonight. There's like 10 or 15 new legendaries in this set, and I have one of them so far. And a lot of Light's Champions, because you know we're going to be playing that card, right? Because, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, all right, now I'm just getting bitter. Shadow Fiend's pretty cool, though. Whenever you draw a card, reduce its cost by one. Oh, and Burgle is new. The hand Burglar's up there. Add two random class cards to your hand. Interesting. 
Oh, it's like becoming a priest. <laughs> Master Jouster. I'm going to have nightmares about the Master Jouster just like constantly following me, hounding me. Oh, there we go. Mage, Ronin, add three copies of Arcane Missiles to your hand. So actually pretty strong. I'm going to have to start playing Mage. I don't even know. <laughs> Enter the Colosseum. Those are all cards we've seen, but that one is gold, which is great for dusting. All right, well, that's a look at the Grand Tournament. Uh, thanks for tuning in, those that tuned in live, and if you're watching on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, and we will uh, uh, be back in the future with more look at digital board games. Uh, so we specialize in digital board games. Uh, this is Hearthstone, one of our favorites, but we also look at those that are based on original board games and things of that nature. So thank you, everyone, and we'll see you later.